Mm -hmm. um, the person I was um, refuting today um, made, uh, made her statement from the Bible. If you don't know the Bible, there's a story called about two, uh, six, it was five cities, but we're going to talk about two. Those cities were plagued by sin, and they're, um, particularly they were called Sodom and Gomorrah. And those uh, tell those that two angels went to um, that city and destroyed it. Basically, that's a short version of it. They burned it in, in a fiery, fiery uh, storm, we call it. My, um, and she said the first claim of her is that Sodom and Gomorrah were not destroyed due to homosexuality. It's, it's all in the Bible. I, I don't know how to refute this. Um, her secondary claim is that homosexuality, no, yeah, homosexuality did not contribute to the destruction of Sodom nor Gomorrah. And then the second one is commandments were not followed and thus caused God to destroy the cities. My evidence claim is that Sodom and Gomorrah were, de were not destroyed by God. They were destroyed by an underground explosion, which basically, because Sodom and Gomorrah were located in a plane along with three other cities. It, the, 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 they were called the Great Plain Cities. And so those cities were located in a fault line. And there's this mineral uh, that fused with petroleum called bimite. And that one, there was an earthquake and it built up pressure underground and the pressure released the bimite and it exploded and that caused a fiery hailstorm that destroyed the city. So also to challenge her thing, um, we go to the Bible, and then it says that um, God never declared inhospitability to be an the, on the uh, abomination to him. Basically, the angels went and tried to find some good people, so they could they wouldn't destroy the city, and they couldn't find them, because the people didn't offer them, they weren't hospitable to them, they just wanted to uh, destroy them, because they were different to them. So. Um, Nowhere in the church, nowhere in the Bible, it declares that being inhospitable, it's a sin. It has, um, but they actually does declare that homosexuality is a sin. Um, in Leviticus 18, 20, 22, uh, it says, um, makes, uh, it makes, God makes the view of homosexuality clear. Do not lie with a man as one lies with a woman. That's detestable. So that means that basically Sodom and Gomorrah got destroyed because or the perversion act. Also, um, it explains it's sort of the city was filled with perversion. It wasn't just homosexuality, it was many things. But the most the most horrendous thing that they had is um, homosexuality. Basically. Her second claim also it's uh, commandments were not followed. She doesn't say homosexuality, she says that they were inhospitable going around. Um, as I said, Sodom and Gomorrah are centers of sexual perversion. And thus, you hear the word I mean, in the English language called sodomy, which uh, is often referred to to describe anal, oral, intercourse, or bestiality, which is sex with animals, which is actually derived from the tale of Sodom and Gomorrah because they, uh, they performed those sexual acts there. Um, what else? Um, If actually, if if her if she says that uh, God, um, Sodom and Gomorrah are not the the major sin is not sexual perversion, why are so many people and so and even the Bible referred to them as a, as a sexual perversion center as the cities? And uh, to end my statement, basically is while Sodom and Gomorrah were surely guilty of many other horrendous sins, homosexuality was a reason God poured fiery sulfur on the cities, completely destroying them all and their between them and all their inhabitants. To this day, the area where Sodom and Gomorrah were located remains a desolate wa wasteland. Sodom and Gomorrah serve as a powerful example of how God feels about sin in general and homosexuality specifically.
All right, uh, you give us the context and the claim that you're responding to. Uh, you kind of plead a little uncertainty at the beginning because of uh, the biblical references, but I'm not sure that that enhances your credibility, especially later on when you are using biblical references to support the position that contradicts what the advocate said. So I'm not sure that you know, you've helped yourself that much. If you think that there is a problem with whether or not an argument exists here, you need to develop it a little bit more. <coughs> There's this interesting counter theory about the explanation of what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah. I don't know where that came from. I don't want to know what reason you have to believe it. I don't know whose theory it is. It could just be something that you made up. You know, I, you know, this whole underground explosion based on a problem with the fault line where this bimite uh, pressure thing exploded. I don't, I don't know where that comes from. And even if it is true and you've got some evidence to suggest that that's what happened, how does that undermine the advocate's claim <laughs> that the story is being misused to condemn homosexuality? I think that that's uh, problematic. So you, you spend some time on that point and it doesn't get you anywhere. The argument about inhospitality or uh, being inhospitable, uh, I think that's a, that's a good argument in the sense that uh, it's not identified as a sin anywhere else in the Bible. Um, it's, you know, there aren't any preclusions against it, uh, I suppose, although I think you need to develop a little bit of evidence on this, but you do suggest that homosexuality is condemned in other parts of the Bible, and so that would justify why this is seen as being the sin that goes on there. Um, on the second point, uh, I think you're a little bit clear. You've got a good explanation of uh, for instance, the term sodomy and where it comes from. Uh, I think you do want to give us a source citation on the origin of those words, although I, I mean there's no dispute about it, but the question then becomes, has it been people for thousands of years who've misunderstood what was going on here, or is it her that's right? You know, and that's one of the ways that we can contrast the information that's going on there. This is, a, this is an argument about uh, what the source of uh, God's wrath was, and uh, the main source that most people accept is homosexuality, which is why sodomy is, you know, basically associated with that sort of behavior. And it goes back that far. I thought you had a good argument on that point, but could make it a little bit stronger. Um, and at the very end, it sounds like you have a, a quote on the argument, but I'm not sure if it's a quote or if it's just your own argument. So there's a little bit of uncertainty on that point. All right. Thank you.